What up everybody and welcome to FoosyTube. Here on YouTube Cribs, we like to show you the luxurious life of YouTubers. Today, we have none other than Lance210. Lance started his career on Vine and then took the YouTube world by storm with his viral pranks. He has amassed over 5.5 million subscribers over the years. I really wanna know what he spent all that YouTube money on. We're currently in New Jersey at his beautiful home, so let's go take a deeper look inside. Let's go. So we're currently at Lance's front door. Beautiful door, by the way. Just look how, I'm just kidding, guys. Let's get inside. Ow, it's a hard door. Hey, what's yo, going yo, on, yo, man? Yo, yo, yo. How you doing, brother? Good, man, how are you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for inviting us to your home. Oh, for sure. So we currently have Lance 210 here, as you can see by his merchandise, hey. which I'm sure he made a lot of YouTube money on, but Lance, I want to thank you for inviting us to your home. So I want you to just take us through and just show us your home. Just like invite us as one of your guests and show us what you got. All right, let's check it out. Let's get it. So as you can see, we have the staircase. I actually have two staircases. So we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. But uh, I guess we'll start off with my birthday gift to myself. Okay. I bought myself a piano. I got into singing recently and uh, within the past year. And I like to use the piano to um, match my voice with the, with the notes. So it, it helps me practice my singing on the daily. Can you actually play? <sighs> I, I don't know a lot, honestly. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see what I got up my sleeve. Let's see what you got. Bro, I literally know like nothing. I'm gonna be real. I, just, see, I literally see. just go like this and just like match my voice to the notes, but. Um, oh, that's been a while. I'm trying to find where it is. That's good, it's man. Embarrassing. No, I'm trying to find the right chords. All right, there we go. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I literally don't play it professionally at all. I literally just, you know, match my voice out with the keys. But it was a birthday present. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, we have a love sack. These things are so comfortable. I love these. Nice. I have a couple of these around my house. So over here we have my dining room. Honestly, we never use this spot at all. I'm actually the only person that's living in this house currently. I used to have like 10 other people that lived here, but that's a long story. Nobody lives here anymore, so it's me by myself. And this was actually a YouTube video that I did. We put an entire candy store in my house and there is barely any candy left, honestly. All the candy's probably expired. I have to replace it. But the main reason that I haven't replaced it is because I went on this crazy diet this past year mm -hmm. and I've lost so much weight and I just wanted to lean out and I literally never even come in here to eat this anymore, so. Congrats. Thank you, bro. I will follow you. But before, I wanted to do the- <laughs> Huh? Go ahead, take it all, bro. <laughs> if you get sick, it's on Yo, you. Had... If you get sick, it's on you. I didn't want him to see me, but we I got it. Think... Look at this, I think it's expired. It all expired. Uh, I actually wanted to upgrade the candy store. I wanted to put like- So it's coming soon? Maybe, maybe. Okay. We'll see what happens. Uh, I wanted to put like a donut maker. I wanted to put like a Coca-Cola machine. I wanted to do a lot of stuff, so we'll cool, see what cool. happens. These um, were very nicely organized at one point. They, they all looked like this up to the brim. And if anybody wanted Oreo, Oreos, I would tell them to pick from the middle. Mm -hmm. But you can see that clearly people just started eating around the outsides. Yeah. And it was mainly for show, but. <laughs> Beautiful kitchen. Thank you. Do you use your kitchen? Bro, I cook my own food every single day. No way. So it's constantly dirty. I actually just finished cleaning right before you got here. Okay. So um, we have all of my protein and supplements that I use for the gym. I work out every single day. The gym is a big part of my life. I, there was points where I was going like at least two to three times every single day. Wow. I try to make it to the gym at least one time a day, but I'm sponsored by this company called First Form. So they're always hooking me up with products, which is really cool. Sick. And then I have a bunch of my seasonings, as you guys can see. I use these popcorn seasonings on my food, uh -huh. and it's just all sodium-based. There's not a lot of calories in it. This is like really good. I use this on my eggs every morning, garlic parmesan. Nice. So now, I forgot to do this in my first episode with Logan Paul, but here on YouTube Cribs, we have to see what's inside your fridge. <laughs> It's a mess, bro. <laughs> it's literally a mess. I know you cleaned up. your house, but we, we have to see what's inside. Bro, your it's fridge. a mess. Oh. It's a mess. We can't look inside, bro. All right, we can do it, but like, 
This is embarrassing. Okay, we'll just look. Okay. It, it's literally unorganized as hell. It's just a pre warning, alright? Okay. Bro, it's bad. Oh no! It's so unorganized. Look, okay. there's, there's literally soda that's like laying down. I don't even drink this, but that's in case, like, you know, something comes over. We want, we want to drink something, we want to chase her, you know? But like, it's mostly like tofu and stuff because I just went vegetarian. Okay. As of almost two weeks ago. Honestly, it's made me leaner. I like that. Um, I feel like my workouts are stronger. Mm -hmm. Mainly probably because I have better blood flow because I think it like lowered my cholesterol a lot. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay vegetarian. Uh -huh. I do love steak with a passion. I kind of want some right now to be honest, but I'm trying to stay strong. There was one thing I want to talk about real quick okay. though. I don't know if they saw in the video, but. My window is currently broken. <laughs> I can confirm, guys, he does have a broken window in the kitchen. What happened? There's still glass. You can see it's like yeah. down here. I'm getting that replaced probably this week. I'm a dummy. I was recording a video for TikTok. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm going to throw a mango at my window. And I thought the mango was going to like explode yeah. and not my window. Uh, so, And I also have this uh, amethyst crystal plant, which I'm super spiritual. And I love the energy that crystals give off. Mm -hmm. This is very clean energy. I have a lot of crystals upstairs in my room as well. Mm -hmm. This is just some really good positive energy nice. spread throughout the house. Talking about crystals, yes, this is probably the biggest crystal that I have. And I love this thing. This is a quartz crystal and it's a bowl. And this is actually used for like meditation. Okay. And it gets pretty loud, but it's very relaxing. Do you Can you give us a sample? You want to hear it? Yeah. All right. If you do it long enough, yeah, you literally it like puts you on a trance almost. Meditative, st like trance. Yeah, a meditative state, and um, it almost makes you feel like you have one eardrum. Mm. It's really cool. Mm. This would be considered the living room. Do you use this table? Honestly, no. I typically eat over in this area on my island. Okay. And this is my favorite spot. I sit here all the time. It's almost on like the head of, head of a meeting, <laughs> except there's nobody else. Yeah. There's nobody else around me. So we have my cloud couch, which I recently got. But to be honest, it's just not comfy, dude. It looks very comfy. It looks comfy. So when I was at Logan's house, he had $90,000 Mercedes couches and they were absolutely uncomfortable. I have to test out your God, couches. try it out. Okay. Oh, that's so comfortable. I could go to sleep here it may easily. Be comfy at first, but honestly, after spending a lot of time on it, you realize like it's not that great. I'd rather have a couch that has thicker cushioning. So I'm, I'm looking to possibly purchase a new couch then. I'd have to disagree with him on that one. I give these couches a big thumbs up you because- want Huh? You want the couch? I'm okay. <laughs> my, my, my YouTube Cribs is coming soon. <laughs> it's coming soon, but that's a very comfortable couch. There's something I have to ask you though. Sure. So looking around your house, it has a consistent color scheme. Is that something you did or is that something the house came with? Like everything matches. It's no, like this house was honestly very, very ugly when I first bought really? it. Really? We ripped out the entire insides. Well, actually before I moved in, um, this house had like green floors with like yellow walls. Like it was so ugly to me at least. I mean, that's personally not my style. Mm -hmm. So we redid everything. This wasn't here before done. My mom actually did this for me as a surprise. It's beautiful. So I, I really enjoyed this right over the fireplace. Mm -hmm. So you renovated the whole house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I got this house for probably almost um, almost half a mil. Mm -hmm. And then I put about like $300,000 worth of wow. work into it. Nice. Completely gutted the kitchen. The kitchen did not look anything close to that. Mm. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. We'll so go you upstairs. said there's two staircases. Yes. This is a completely separate staircase than the other one. Yes. Okay. And in here is my bedroom. So this would be the master. Yes, this is the master bedroom. And um, as you can see, it's very plain in here. I haven't done a lot to it, mainly because of the fact that when I first moved into this house, mm -hmm. I told myself that within like two or three years, I'm most likely going to move into another house. So I didn't really feel the need to go full out and like decorate the walls and go crazy. And how many years have you had this house? Almost two, actually. So uh, are you potentially looking for a new home? <sighs> Not just yet. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I, I literally just got an apartment out in LA as well again, mm -hmm. so I'm back and forth. I'll probably stay here for a month, go to LA for a month. I do that same thing always. Uh, I, I like to come back and see my family, which also, they live in New Jersey. Yeah, this is pretty much my room. I do have to ask, by the way, and it's just because I'm noticing, you seem like you like simplicity and everything to be simple. You don't waste your money on things like, like unnecessary things for the house. Yeah, or, no. Is that part of your personality? Are you a simple guy? Like, Kinda, I mean, you can see, like, I'm wearing my merch right now, but even my clothing, this is typically how I wear clothing on a daily basis, just like black and white clothing. Like this is just white and gray. And, so you and didn't get your two money and go out and buy Gucci and Louis Vuitton. And don't get me that. wrong, I have some Gucci items, but I don't buy the clothing. Like I don't buy like crazy colorful clothing. I, I wear like a black shirt every day with okay. like pants. Like I'm very simple with my clothing, um, but I did buy like Gucci flip flops and I have like some yeah. Louis Vuitton boots and stuff. Well that says something because you've made a lot of money over the years and like you could be right now in full Gucci Decked mood, out. but you yeah. like to keep it simple and wear your merch. That yeah, says exactly. something. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel the need to go out and buy all those crazy things. Yeah, but majority of my money goes to just simple things on a daily basis, which includes like food, or like supplies for my house, or even like facial care products, which I'm very big on, and like my supplements. You do have clear skin. I Thank do you, have bro. To say, you do I, have dude, really I, I try skin. hard. I try hard. Okay. <laughs> so we'll get into that. I have uh, some products, but this is my bed, and this is also a a sign that I love very much work harder. Just a constant reminder every day that I should wake up, grind. Uh, I, I was on a bad schedule before. Uh -huh. I used to wake up like every day at like 1 p.m. and just feel groggy every morning. I would oversleep, mainly because I used to eat very bad. Mm -hmm. So when you have like a ton of carbs before bed, you just sleep forever, bro. Oh, You're yeah. like hibernation. Yeah, yeah, and we just finished Thanksgiving too. So. Yeah, luckily I didn't go too hard with my eating. I did have some apple pie. Some desserts. Now, something I haven't done yet on YouTube Cribs, I have to test out your bed. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask for permission because the bed is a sacred place, and I don't know if he wants my energy on his bed, but we're gonna test it out. Oh, that's comfy. That's a very comfortable bed. That's I a love this very bed. comfortable bed. What kind of bed is this? <laughs> I don't even know. It's like some type of Tempur-Pedic. It's not the actual brand, uh -huh. but it's it's something that, in my opinion, is even better. That's a very comfortable bed. Thank you. And then over here we have um, my jewelry. I have more jewelry in LA because I do have an apartment out there. Mm -hmm. So like I kind of just swap back and forth. This I love with an absolute passion. Uh -huh. This is my Rolex. It's iced out. You can see there's diamonds encrusted all around it. I'm okay, not, I don't want to downplay this. This is a bust down rolly right here. Yeah. This is like, this is what you see rappers wearing. Yeah. Can I put it on? Go ahead. If it'll fit your wrist. I'm taking full advantage of this YouTube cribs. I'm like, can I wear your watch? Can I sleep <laughs> on your bed? Does it fit? There yeah. you go. Ooh. Tight, tight. One of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I have. And I also have... Was it for an occasion or anything or you just decided... All right, so here's the story behind this watch. I had another watch mm -hmm. where the front, like it, it wasn't a complete bust down, like there wasn't diamonds everywhere. It was just the face was wrapped yeah. in diamonds. That watch actually got stolen out of my house by somebody that I thought was a friend of mine. Wow. Uh, I ended up buying a new watch. <laughs> now, do you mind me asking how much this watch costs? 35,000. Yeah. $35,000? Yeah, so the thing about me, I'm a very simple man, but like, I, what I do is I don't spend a lot of money on stuff, yeah. but when I do spend my money, I buy it on something pretty crazy You go like all that. out? Yeah. Okay. And then this is another Ooh. favorite piece of jewelry of mine, which I typically wear every single day. Mm -hmm. um, this is a cross that is dripping. It's, it's white gold, this is white gold as well, and it's encrusted in diamonds. This is super pretty. Um, For those of you that don't know, when he says dripping, he means diamond out, like just Not only shining. that, not only that, but look, you can actually see there's there's drips. Oh, it's literally dripping. Yeah. Um, my mom got me this for my Christmas. She got me and my sister one of these for Christmas. This is a quartz crystal, and it kind of shaped like a cross. Yeah. Almost like a pyramid in the middle. We have, oh, we shouldn't touch other people's crystals. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I'm sorry. You're good. You're I good. apologize. No, you're good. I'll I was like, my OCD was just adjusting it a tiny bit. You're good. Do you have to wash it later? Yeah, I have to sage it. So the thing about crystals, they have a lot of energy and they absorb energy too. So like when, when other people oh, touch them, yeah. your energy goes onto okay. it. Okay. But you're, I'm not tripping, you're good. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then this is Labradite. 
Um, this is a another really cool crystal as well. This is um, sleep with this and like put it under your pillow because uh -huh. it almost like helps you come into like a spiritual awakening. Okay. So that's really cool. And then this is amethyst, a another very powerful crystal. I really like amethyst. When I was in school as a kid, um, one of my friends actually brought an amethyst crystal into school mm -hmm. and like I fell in love with it. I just really had like a really cool attraction towards it. It just gives off really good energy. This apparently has um, interaction with like your third eye. Okay. I don't know if you know all about that, some spiritual stuff, but we got that. And then we also have a evil eye that's hanging on my lamp. This kind of just helps fight off negative energy. So what I'm noticing, and it's actually really cool. I mean, you do have a $35,000 Rolex, but <laughs> instead of having like different things you can show that you've spent your money on, the things that matter to you are like your crystals. Spiritual and stuff. Your spiritual stuff. Yeah. So as of about a year ago, or probably a little bit more than a year ago, I became very spiritual. Okay. I was in a very dark place in my life. I noticed that, you know, becoming spiritual and meditating helped me a lot. I wouldn't say I follow any specific religion. Growing up, I was Catholic, but I, I don't really ever follow like a specific religion. Mm -hmm. I kind of grab bits and pieces from every religion, kind of use them to help me in, in my life. That's awesome. Yeah. And then moving on, we have my bathroom, which real quick before we come in here, if you see there's a hole in my door. This is actually over a year and a half old. I just never decided to fix it. I kind of like to keep these things as memories for some reason. I don't mm -hmm. know why, but I, I woke up one morning and I was just really pissed about something. I'm not gonna get into the full story, but I just went up here and I just punched the hole through my door. So, uh, just so this is the master bathroom. Yes. Beautiful. We have a jacuzzi mm -hmm. that I never ever use. You don't? No. I would use this all the time. There's a reason though, and when we get outside, I'll show you why. Okay. And then we have the shower, of course, and we have my robe which I don't really use too often. I got this mainly as a prop for a video. Mm -hmm. I did the spin wheel challenge and I kind of wanted it to look like just, just a baller in the beginning. So I got this for that. It's a Versace robe? Yes. I'll wear it every once in a while, but I don't really wear robes too often. Over here we have basic, my hair dryer. This is a really nice hair dryer. Um, a bunch of products that I use for like my hair, whether it's, you know, cleaning my face. I have uh, different types of like collagen products for my face, mm -hmm. for my facial care. Um, I use this every single night. It's like a nighttime collagen boost cream. It's very on point with my skincare. I try my best. I actually try a lot for my hair care as well. I take like 25 pills in the morning that include like vitamins and supplements for my hair. Uh -huh. I have genetic hair loss in my family, which sucks. So I just try my best to now, I keep as to, much as I can. I have to ask this. Yeah. You talk about your skincare and your hair care. Is that something like, let's say I didn't have a lot of money yeah. um, and I wanted to take care of my hair and face. Is that something I would have trouble with because they're expensive, they're costly or? Not necessarily. I mean, I do get some higher up brands that I know are really good, but I'm sure there's a lot of brands out there that are probably not as well known that okay. you can probably get some pretty good products from. Okay. But I mean, dude, just something as simple as, you know, like putting lotion on your face every day could help. Okay. SPF 50, don't use anything lower. It doesn't even matter if it's a cloudy or rainy day. SPF 50, guys. I drink a gallon of water every day. Okay. Alkaline water. Alkaline. It's like the fountain of youth. Don't drink any other water. You should drink a, a good pH water. <laughs> He's teaching us a lot like yeah. behind the scenes and it's interesting to see how he lives and the stuff he, I, I'm really intrigued by this. Thank you, bro. So this is my closet, pretty simple. This was actually filled out with more shoes, but I took some of them to LA. I just never refilled these up. We have some Yeezys, a lot of NMDs. I was really into NMDs. I currently have Yeezys on right now. I'm a sneakerhead. I love shoes. I get a lot of shoes that I just never end up actually wearing mm -hmm. that often. I have some more shoes lined up over here as well. We got some Jordans, some more NMDs. Now I have to ask you this question. Me yeah. being a sneakerhead, I just have to know. Sure. Put you on the spot. Do you know what numbers these are? These are 11s. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I you listen, I used to be <laughs> I haven't worn Jordans in years. I swear to god, I used to know every number. That's why I used to know I'm just, everything. I'm just finding out. Right, what are these? 14. 14. Okay. These are 11s. Yeah. You do own a pair of 11s. Yes, I do own 11s, which these get dirty very easily. Mm -hmm. So I don't wear them too often, but I do love these shoes. Even looking at your clothing, like you said, you're very simple. Oh, black and white. Look, black, black jeans, white jeans. Not many colors, like these are like shorts. Yeah, you're very simple, I like that. Everything over here is like black, white, and grays. 
And then this is actually something that I did spend a pretty good amount of money on. This is a uh, Versace backpack. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my favorite items that I own. It's, as you can see, the bottom is pretty dirty. Just so by, you like, use it? I use it all the time. Show, yeah. All the time. I, whenever I go through TSA, when I'm flying, I, I always put this on there and then the bottom gets dirty, of course. But now, how much does a Versace backpack cost? This was uh, $5,000. $5,000. Yeah, it's made out of leather. It's really nice, feel the material. Let me see. Wow. Oh, it is, it's heavy duty. Yeah. $5,000 for a Versace backpack. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. But like I said, I don't spend a lot of money, but when I do, it's on those unique items that yeah. I really want. And you put them to use, so they're not just a waste. Always, Like yeah. I've wasted a lot of money over the years on stuff that I purchased and then are gone now, but you actually put them to use. Yeah, there's not really anything that I buy that's really expensive that I don't typically use. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we have some spare bedrooms. Okay. We can just show them real quick. They don't really get used unless we have guests come over. Mm -hmm. So this is a guest bedroom. Pretty nice. We just got some new furniture in it. And again, the colors are neutral, so everything still matches with the color scheme that you have going on in the house. And like you said, it's white and black. Yeah. Yeah, pretty simple. And then we have, we have, a, we have an air horn here, which is classic Glass 210. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of videos with an air horn over the years, man. <laughs> oh my god, that's loud. Not I, again, not again, not again. I always scare my grandma with it. Okay. Yeah. Are no, you good? Ooh. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is another bedroom, spare bedroom. How many bedrooms is this house? Uh, what do we got? Five? Five bedrooms? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. And then there are four bathrooms. And two of them are full bathrooms. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, I lied. Three of them are full bathrooms. We have one down the basement. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, do I show this? What is it? It's my merch room, which is dope, but unfortunately it's a little unorganized right now and kind of like, I think we have to see it. All right, let, let's check it I out. I think we have to see the merch room. Oh, this is sick. Here's my merch room. It's just not as organized and filled up as I would like it to be. This is awesome. Thank you, bro. So typically we have, you know, the shelves filled up with, with way more clothing. Honestly, I've just been a little lazy recently and I have boxes full of merch right here mm -hmm. that I have to get hung up. So now I'm going to ask this because it's YouTube Cribs. Is a merch a good source of income for you? Part of your YouTube money? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like I've made more money off of merch than I have on YouTube over the years. No way. Yeah. yeah. And that says And a that's lot. like posting, you know, videos every single day. That have gone viral, yeah. extremely viral. Mm -hmm. That says a lot. So you've created like a successful brand within your success on YouTube. Yeah. And it's just my name inside of my 210 logo, which is dope. We, we came out with this a couple years ago and I've stuck with this logo ever since. That's awesome. Yeah. I feel like I just try to pick out designs that I like and wear. So I'm not trying to like release something like every single day. That's awesome though. We'll see how long I plan on keeping this house. I, I honestly, I have no idea what the plan is just yet. Okay. Who knows, maybe I'll raise kids in here one day, you know? Maybe. I have no idea what the plan is yet. See, I'm even turning off the lights. I feel like this is my house right now. <laughs> trying his bed, trying his couch, trying his backpack. I love this chandelier. Comes down by a key you put in no here. No way. And it'll drop all the way to the floor. This way you can clean it and you know change the light bulbs if That's you need to. That's awesome. Yeah. And here is where the magic happens. I'll play. This is just like my little workspace. I have, this is my office. I have my computer set up in here. You know, this is where I sit down, edit my videos for like four hours straight. Mm -hmm. with taking no breaks. <laughs> That's a so YouTube you job. Stuff. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I, there was a point where I had editors do it for me. Uh -huh. um, but honestly, no one's gonna edit my videos the way I want them to be. Yeah. You know, they can try, they can get close, but it really depends on the type of day that I'm having or the type of video that sure. I need to be edited. If I need like super complex editing, then I'll hire someone, but a lot of the time I like to do my own stuff. That's nice, I'm sure your fans appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. I have some monitors that these aren't connected right now, mm -hmm. but these actually went to my gaming PC, which I have right here. There's a, a bunch of wires everywhere, super unorganized at the moment, but this is my gaming PC. I specifically bought this to play Fortnite and stream. Mm -hmm. And I did that for a couple months on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just kind of got bored of the game to be real. Okay. Yeah, and then I have a VR as well. So you can see on the wall right here, uh -huh. we have these hanging up on both sides. This is 
So this is your area that you play your VR in, you put oh, the nice. headset on. Now the VR that you can get is a little bit more advanced, so you don't need the sensor set up. Uh -huh. But when I first got it, that's what you had to do. Okay. And then we have my plaques on the wall as well for my YouTube. Of course. For we reaching 1 million subscribers. This is for my second channel, which I would upload my prank videos to, so that's Lance210. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have one for my vlogging account, which is Lance Stewart Vlogs. Whoa, is that like corroding? Do you see that? It is. A what? Bit on the inside. How does that even happen? I have no idea. This is That's actually the first time I've seen that happen. I haven't looked at these in a while. They're kind of just hanged up. <laughs> and then we have some more plaques over here as well. These are for uh, both channels for reaching 100,000 subscribers. Okay. Check out the basement next. Yep. So this is my basement. I actually don't come down here as of too often recently. I used to come down here all the time, but we have a boxing bag. I like to just mess around here sometimes, get some good cardio in. I'll do drum rope, hit the bag. Uh, I have a treadmill as well. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a speed bag on the back here that I mess around with. Mm -hmm. And we also have a ping pong table, but to be honest, it's broken right now. So as you can see, only one side is flipped off. The other side is turned over. We're trying to fix it and we just never fixed it yet. So do you work out here a lot? Um, I do sometimes, but typically I, I, I only come down here to like really box, like punch the bag. Yeah. Um, I, I don't usually try not too often because every morning I like to wake up and go straight to the gym, get a faster cardio workout in. Okay. I feel more motivated when I go to a gym just because I feel like I'm taking the time out of the day to like You're actually to drive yeah. somewhere and commit to actually do it. Yeah. I feel like if I, if I knew that, you know, I had this available to me at all times, if I wake down here, like. I probably wouldn't feel as motivated to like actually, you know, lift. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I like, I don't know. Plus, I feel like uh, going to the gym is like a social thing for me as well. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of things to do out here in Jersey. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, like, we live in like the middle of the woods. Mm -hmm. So, unless like I'm going next door to see my family or hanging out with friends, I like to go there. I, I meet a lot of new people at the gym as well. So. Okay. And, and I'm not a big partier. I don't really go to clubs. I don't really go out. So you don't waste money on like bottle service and tables. Never, and all that stuff. never. Oh, yeah, that's never. smart. I'm not a big drinker. Um, I'm pretty homebound all the time. This treadmill is cool. I just don't really use it that much. And then I also have like a bunch of fan-made art on the wall as well. Awesome. You can see a lot of them like recreate my logo. This was like a gummy bear that we named Roger. Uh, it was like a random gummy bear that my friend would always like hide in like vents and stuff and it was always like a little like little gag in my videos. Yeah, yeah. And we named him Roger and then like we made merch out of him too and then somebody recreated this. That's nice how you put it all on the wall and stuff. Yeah, like, stuff. like to show uh, support back to my fans, you know, for sending stuff over. It's really nice. I don't typically come downstairs wow. that often to be real. This is like a whole new... No, we have another. Another love sack. We like this is a whole there. floor. This is a whole upstairs of a home. We actually, when I had a lot of people living here, my friend and his girlfriend used to actually live down here. So it was oh, like, okay. it's like a whole apartment, bro. It is. This was my apartment size in LA at one point. <sighs> Lance gets the award for comfortable couches. Yeah. I do have to say. This one is way more comfy than the one upstairs. This one's comfy. Yeah, this I want to get something thicker comfy. like this for up there. Nice. Yes. But yeah, this is like a whole apartment. You can, a whole family can live down here. Yeah, and like I said, we have uh, three full bathrooms. So like in here, you know, you can shower as well. Nice. I really love this uh, tiling on the floor. Was that done after? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's all custom. You ready for outside? That's what I was about to ask you. Is it time to go outside? Let's do it. Let's do it. So we'll start off with my hot tub. And this is actually the reason why I don't use my jacuzzi upstairs in my bedroom. Okay. Because I'll just come out here and use this. I'll come out here when it's freezing cold outside. It doesn't matter because of the reason that this roof actually comes up. Oh, sick. And you can put these curtains down on the side and kind of like enclose yourself. Yeah. So, I mean, we would come out here when oh, it's, it's like warm. Yeah, it stays warm like all throughout the day. Oh, nice. You don't have to warm it up or anything. Constantly warm. 
And then there's like lighting features in there as well. You can change like any color Sick. you want. The top as well, you can change any color. Is this something that came with the home or is this something you got after the fact? No, I bought it after, like a couple months after I got the home. Now for the viewers at home, I have to ask, how much does something like this cost? This is a pretty expensive hot tub. This is uh, over, over 30,000. Over 30,000. Yeah. So just as expensive as the watch. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. It's worth it though. I yeah, love this. We use it, it so much. Then of course you can adjust this, keep it like any level you want. You could probably trap yourself in here, but I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and I'm just taking a second to look at his backyard because it's beautiful. It's like it's open. Thank you, man. You can smell the fresh air and it just feels nice up here. It's like it's a it's a separate home in itself. We have our trampoline here. We usually move the trampoline over towards the pool area when it's not closed. And you jump in? Yeah, we'll jump in. Trampoline's the wrong one. Hey! I can't do a backflip though. I mean, I probably can. I've done it before, but I'm scared, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to break my neck. Don't hurt yourself on this show. We don't yeah, want you to no. hurt yourself. No. Here's my pool. So obviously, it's too cold for the pool right now, so you have it covered up. Yes. And uh, we have this hose going out to the front. It drains it every once in a while because mm -hmm. this gets flooded when it rains. Okay. I'm sure it looks beautiful when it's not covered, though. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's great. And then we also have my cars outside that we can Ooh, show. Oh, I forgot. Here on YouTube Cribs, we always have to show the cars that the YouTubers own. So let's go take a look at those. Before we get to the cars though, I did want to show you something really cool. Okay. So if you look down, what do you see? Lance 210. My logo, wow. my logo is actually engraved into here. That was something really cool and custom That's that we got installed. Awesome. Thank you, bro. Once again, my logo is that literally is, my life. Yeah, that's awesome. And bro, honestly, the numbers 210, I see everywhere. Whether it be on the clock, whether I'm at like a random place, uh -huh. and I just see it on like, like, a, like say I'm at a restaurant, I'll see it as like a price or something on something, or even like, like I'll be driving and I'll see it on a on a license plate. Yeah, yeah. It's really it's really random, that's but awesome. I, I I take that as like it's my lucky number, and it's like whenever I see that I'm in the late, the right place at the right time type thing. Sorry, I got sidetracked. You're good. You're I good. Just looked at these cars. Yes. Oh my goodness. So right here we have a Corvette Z06, which is a car that I bought my dad for his 50th birthday two years ago. Wow, that's beautiful. I love this thing. He doesn't drive it as much as he should, to be honest. Uh -huh. I, I feel like I drive it more than he does. He's just very protective and doesn't want it to get messed up. Of course. But, you know, you gotta take advantage of these things. This so, is, this is almost 700 it was a birthday present. Yeah, his 50th birthday present. And can I ask you how much a Corvette costs? A basic Corvette, I think, costs around like 45 or 50,000. Uh -huh. This one is a, uh, this was 100,000. Wow. Yeah, so this is his birthday present. And then we also have my baby, my blue chrome Audi R8. This was originally a, a black Crystal Panther. That's what they call the color, like a reflective black. So if the sun was shining on it, mm -hmm. it would almost have like a purplish effect to it. Okay. But I really adore blue. The color blue is my favorite color and you can't go wrong with blue chrome. That's beautiful. When I was looking at colors to wrap this car, I was actually looking at like a gold chrome, mm -hmm. like a reflective gold, but I thought that was a little bit too much, um, a little too flashy, so I went with this. And as you guys can see, of course, on the back, Lance 210. My logo's not on this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but actually, I lied. My logo is on this. It's on the side on a decal, as you can see right here. Awesome. So we have my logo on the side of the car and on the front as well. Do you, now I see that you like cars with the Corvette and the Audi. Do yes. you have any cars coming up or anything you're interested in? Okay, so I had a down, no, I paid it off in full, but I'm actually getting the money back for it because I thought it would be a uh, better move to keep my money for now. But I had a, I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's is, is there like a rabbit in your car or something? No, no, no that's my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I had a payment put down on a Tesla Roadster 2020, mm. but I actually just got the payment back. Oh! I paid it off in full. I really wanted that car for a couple of years now, but I keep hearing that it's getting delayed. It was supposed to come out in 2020, uh -huh. but people are saying it's getting delayed now until 2021. Like they don't even know. So, so what you I'm thought it would do, be a smarter investment to just take the money back, keep the money. Yeah. Well, actually, I took the money back and I just invested into a property. Oh, nice. So who knows? Maybe you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep investing my money. So over time 
time, that money's gonna make of my course. money back. Of course. So that's a, it's a smarter move for now. And then, you know, when the car actually does come out, then I'll see where I'm at and see if I wanna get it then. But I also do have a uh, BMW M4 in, that's in LA right now. Okay. So that's my daily driver for out there. Okay. And then this is my daily driver for Jersey. Sick. I feel like I have a lot more friends that are in LA than out here. So mm -hmm. I drive people around more when I'm there. Mm -hmm. So we have four seats in the M4. We only have two in here as this is a supercar. Woo! Again, simple guy, black interior. He keeps it simple. Yes. I noticed that. Oh, there's a bunch of carbon fiber in there. Oh man, I sit pretty close. You to do wheel. sit close. Yeah, so we, got, we got to pull it back a little bit. And then we have uh, diamond leather stitching on the seats as well uh -huh. that I paid extra for. I think that design is really unique and nice. Nice. I'm testing out everything, guys. <laughs> the perks of running this show. And this car was, I paid 180,000 for it. 180,000, yeah. paid off? Yeah, in full. The second I got it, it was paid off in full. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> smart, smart decisions. Yeah. So at the beginning, you said you had a surprise for us. So is it time to show us? In there? In here? Is that what you're gonna show us? No, 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 it's no? actually right here. You see, we have a gate, right? Yeah. This gate actually connects to my parents' backyard, which they live right next door to me. No way. Yes. So the story behind how this all happened was, I actually used to live in there with my family. Uh, we moved over to this area a couple years back. You know, when I was going back and forth between Jersey and LA, mm -hmm. um, there was a point in my life where I was like really depressed and like I didn't want to be in LA anymore. And I wanted to be in Jersey with my family. So I moved back here for two years uh, before getting a, another place out in LA. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was living at my parents' house and my parents go to bed pretty early because of their jobs. I, I was up late making content for YouTube and my dad would always get mad because he had to get sleep and I was always being like loud and ob yeah. obnoxious. I needed my own place. And it's like, if I'm gonna be in Jersey, I, I still want to be close by to my family. Of course. And it was almost like an omen because this house was literally up for, up for sale for like six months and, and then I bought it. So you have both properties right now. Like you can, I can open this right now and yeah. go to your parents' yeah, house. Yeah. Oh my God. Watch the dog poop. My, my dog Gio okay, likes okay. to randomly poop. <laughs> that was close. That's an entire episode of YouTube Cribs on its own, your parents' house. Yes, let's check out the backyard. I think the inside, you know, it was just the holidays. It's probably a mess right now. My parents are like getting their Christmas tree set up. So we probably won't go inside just because, you know, my mom wants to make sure like everything's perfectly I understand. Neat. My mom would be the same way. Yes. So this is the backyard. We have another pool over here as well. We also have a built-in uh, hot tub. My mind is baffled right now. Like honestly baffled. You have both properties and they're literally conjoined. Yes. That That's is so cool. insane. I had a couple of video ideas where I wanted to get like a zip line from my house over to my parents' house and like uh -huh. come across the pool and I can just like drop in. Yeah. That would be pretty sweet. All right, so the little surprise is the lighting in my house all changes colors whenever I want it to. So we have uh, smart bulbs set up around the entire house. So I can literally make my entire house any color anytime. So for example, blue. Hey Google, <laughs> make all lights blue. Oh! <laughs> What's your favorite color? Red. Red? Hey Google, make all lights red. This is actually pretty creepy. This color. Sure. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. So imagine playing like hide and seek and it's like devilish lighting. That's awesome. Or you're having like a Halloween party. You know, it's really cool. That's really cool. That's one of my favorite features of this house, uh -huh. actually. It took a while to set up all these bulbs. <laughs> we did it all individually. Um, but it was worth it, it's great. Man, so I gotta say, I fell in love with your home. Thank you, bro. It's simple, organized, unique, clean, and mature. Like, I truly feel like I'm home right now. Really, man? Yeah. That's dope. I mean, we got all these extra bedrooms. Who knows, maybe we'll get filled out one day. But not with you. You gotta get out. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I gotta leave? I mean, you don't gotta go home, but you gotta get out of here. You got five bedrooms making me leave. Five bedrooms? Really? I can't have one? Later, brother. Thanks for having us, man. <laughs> no problem, man. Have a good day.